Welcome, citizens. Generius here. Voice tech has been updated to 3.22. Um, HS Voice Pack has not updated anything yet for 3.22, so I've added in all the salvage commands. Uh, if you check the change log in the GitHub repository, which is linked below in the description, you can see all the uh, voice commands that are there and what they do. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's got all the toggle file, toggle fire focused, fire left, fire right, fire fracture, fire disintegrate. Uh, and it has focus all salvage heads, focus left, focus right, focus fracture tool. That's all the salvage stuff. Um, so that that's like the big new thing in 3.22. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff. Uh, but as far as voice tech goes, there's that. Uh, I've been working on some <clears throat> some ship configuration macros. Uh, so we'll see how these go. Um, certain ships are have different capabilities than others, uh, specifically around whether wings deploy. Um, whether they have VTOL and whether they have pilot weapons. And so I've created some commands that uh, will let you set those and then um, a few of my other commands that go in and, um, and use those configurations to automatically do your wings or your VTOL for landings and takeoffs. Um, and uh, power settings. <clears throat> so you can see on my Carrick uh, right now, I have all of my power set to uh, go into my shields and my engines and not my weapons because I have no pilot weapons to power. And so it makes sense to just put everything into shields and weapons. Uh, and I could do this automatically. I, I mean, I have a command that does that does it. Um, and you'll, you'll, you'll hear, <clears throat> you'll hear the voice tech, uh, voice, you know, say stuff like this, but, um, uh, the, the main thing is to just set these simple configurations to yes or no, uh, which you can do one at a time, or you can create like a, uh, a configuration macro that includes, that'll set all of the, uh, all of the yes or no's. Um, so first I'll just show you how I set weapons. To, uh, I'm going to set everything to default so you can see how it changes the power uh, based on on, on what, I, what I've configured the ship for. Um, Ava, configure ship defaults. Weapons power is configured to true. Wings are configured to false. VTOL is configured to false. Okay. Completed. <clears throat> so that that kind of sets it to a general ship that uh, that most of the ships comply with, which is yes, it has pilot weapons. No, it doesn't have wings to deploy, and uh, no, it doesn't have VTOL. And so if I uh, do um, steady as she goes. Or standard flight, same same macro. It's gonna set my power triangle to uh, put even power in everything. Ava, steady as she goes. Stand by. Standard impulse. Okay. So there you go. It's just done a, a reset power and and uh, and and we're fine. <clears throat> now, if I set it, if I set my uh, weapons to know it's going to know that I have a ship like Carrick which has no pilot weapons Ava configure weapons no weapons power is configured to false now if I do the same thing it's going to configure the power to be all in shields and engines Ava steady as she goes stand by Power to shields and engines. Standard impulse. So there we go. Um, another thing that uh, my friend and uh, workmate Metallus mentioned was, oh yeah, 
that works the same way if you have all ballistics. So if you have a ship that's set to all ballistics, then you can also say uh, configure ballistics yes or no, and that will turn power to weapons off when you do this as well, because you don't need uh, power for ballistics. So that is the um, that is the ship configuration stuff. Um, there's some examples on on uh, configuring a, a, a ship setting, and it, it's just as simple as saying configure and the and the name of the ship. I mean, it could be whatever you want, really. Uh, so you could just duplicate that and set the settings the way you want, and name it what you want. Ava, configure Carrick. Weapons power is configured to false. Wings are configured to false. VTOL is configured to false. Completed. And there you go. I've also added uh, commands for trim, because I like trim way better than cruise control. So you can see here, I mean, there. don't get me wrong, there, there's good uses for both, right? Um, uh, but <clears throat> um, if I just do uh, cruise control, Right, it just goes straight up to whatever my uh, max speed is set to, which is fine. Uh, and then as soon as I touch the throttle, it's going to turn it off. Eh. That really annoys me, um, and the trim is a little bit different. So I'm going to throttle up to maximum here, or maybe maybe we'll go right there so you can see what trim actually does. Ava, trim on. Setting trim. Okay. So, trim... Basically, you move the throttle to where you want it to be. You know, 25%, 30%, 40%, 80%, whatever. And when you set trim, it keeps the throttle at that 80%. Right? So, like, we're about half. A little bit over half. Um... Uh, throttle here and a uh, trim is holding I can move my throttle forwards and I can move it backwards and it will go forwards and backwards but when I let go again it will go back to where I set the trim at right this is a very airplane uh, type thing um, and that's that I, I just like that feature better uh, you can uh, there's also a trim off Ava trim off Removing trim. So there you go. Trim. Um, this is set because <clears throat> I've removed the decreased throttle and increased throttle macros on F9 and F10, which never worked or broken and would just turn off your ship and stuff. So I never really got that. Um, so I, I've removed that. And I've used... Uh, F9 as a key to reset to SCM, which I don't really use that much. And then F10 is set trim. If you just tap it and if you hold it, it's remove trim. So if you want the uh, voice attack macro to work for trim, you got to set your F10 key uh, in your key bindings. That's all I got for now. Everyone have a wonderful vacation. Enjoy 3.22. It seems to be running pretty okay. I'm excited to go uh, do some reclaiming tonight, and uh, we will see you later. Bye!